hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in if you are new here please consider subscribing and today is that day i'm traveling guys so right now i'm just heading to the airport kitsumo international airport kia yeah so that is what i'm doing right now and guess who came to pick me up Sasa. so guess who came to pick me up oh my dad came to pick me up together with my mom they just want to see me off yeah and this is where i live with my daughter she's called jasmine it just like that yeah so hi um i think i have flies in my stomach yeah so we're just putting our luggages here and over here is my dad and my mom they just came to pick me up hi, hi. tell them hi hi <laughs> hi <laughs> All right, so we just want to head to the airport. So we finally arrived at Kisumu International Airport and those were my luggages. I was so excited at the same time I was feeling a little bit nervous because it was my first time at the airport and I felt good because my parents had brought me and yeah so this was the view and I was waiting to get in then finally I was given the boarding pass and we were waiting for our flight and the good thing is we as parents who have babies we were given first priorities to enter the plane the first people and this is the view from the top it was a little bit scary but i got used to it but hey let me tell you guys i was so scared i just felt like i needed to sleep and wait for my flight to arrive and finally we arrived and here we were waiting to pick our luggages and 
yeah so this was me a few days later in nairobi i'm sorry i couldn't vlog for you guys because i'm telling you in nairobi when you remove your phone hey i don't want it to get snatched but this was the little view about it i stayed in nairobi for like three days and in my coming clips is just um an explanation of what i went through in this nairobi bus station hope you guys enjoy the video yeah and don't skip the ads subscribe road to 5000 subscribers love you guys Hi guys Yay. welcome to naomi and jasmine's world and today we're starting this live from i don't know the specific location but i guess we are in naivasha so i went to nairobi for like three days and we've been there but i couldn't vlog because if you stay in nairobi you know what's always happening there you cannot just take your phone out of your pocket and start vlogging there are snatches there a lot of them because it's a big city idlers are there a lot of them so what they do is they pick pockets they snatch phones from people but i wanted to to take as much videos as i could but unfortunately i couldn't so i'm heading back to kisumu it has been a wonderful wonderful um let's say vacation for me i needed to breathe i needed like a vacation just to enjoy myself in another city and now i went to nairobi and yeah i'm back and awaka just had a puncture so they are changing the tires and everybody was told to get out of the car as you guys can see so we are in the middle of nowhere middle of nowhere so we're just chilling waiting for the driver and the co-driver to finish changing the tires and then we head to nakuru that is our stop where we can go help ourselves maybe if you want to grab something to eat because for me i'm really starving so if you want to grab something to eat or you want to go to the toilet you can always help yourself there in nakuru so right now we are in naivasha and hey i'm telling you i could have booked like a two-way two-way flight but unfortunately i didn't i just booked like a one-way flight so when i went to check the the flight price the last night they were at 190 dollars and previously when i booked the flight it was 50 dollars so you can just see the gap the difference in between so when I booked it, I booked it at $50. Now, when I checked it yesterday, it was $190. So if I could have known that I was 
traveling back anyway i knew i was traveling back so maybe ignorance or i don't know but i didn't book so this is how i get to travel it's so hectic guys and have jasmine here it's so hot inside there hey and i'm so tired carrying baby jasmine it's like six hours drive so we've covered two four hours to go pray for me guys pray for me <laughs> Jasmine doesn't even know and I'm telling you what I experienced in that mm, town hey. so yesterday I decided to after checking the flight prices I couldn't like get to pay for the flight so I decided to go to town and book a car so because I don't want to get stranded it's December and people are traveling to go to the villages let me show you you see those cars you just see a lot of cars and there's jam just see guys a lot of cars just see people are traveling going to the villages so the cars are hot cake like when you you can't even get a matatu right now to take you to isumo so what i did is i had to book it yesterday so i went to this office booking office called prestige and then we booked a car so i knew i was having my drive at seven i woke up at five i booked a uh, uber bolt it brought me to town on reaching town i go to that specific um booking station they start i don't know what i don't know what they take us, I, I think we were like five people, they take us to the main bus stop and then we find like a lot of people stranded there. We look stranded like them because the person who, who took us, he was a broker, he takes us to another vehicle and then they tell us to add money and we paid like $30. 30 just coming to Kisumu and it's usually 15 dollars so they've increased the prices we paid 30 dollar and then they take us to another vehicle they tell us that we have to add another money i'm telling you it has been horrible we'll continue with the vlog i can see people are getting back to the car yeah so since our car is ready it is go and continue with our journey so guys we just stopped at Nakuru to grab on something and I am so pressed. So the reason to why they usually have a stopover for people to go help themselves and also buy food if they want. So right now we're just going to the restroom and then I'll go grab on something. Yeah, as I was saying, it was so hectic there at the bus station in Nairobi but it's good that we managed to find a bus and now we are just out here yeah yeah and we thank god for the journey must be still where we have reached we have been on the road for five hours it's not supposed to be like that but it's because of the jam usually it's always three hours but today it's five hours we are still we still have like three more hours to go or four but we pray for journey masses yeah so i ended up buying the hot dog and some blended juice and then we continued with our journey to kisumu the driver was just making sure that everybody reached home so he had to drive carefully because it was also getting late as you guys can see then we approached this place called londiani it's commonly known to have so many hawkers and they do business even late in the night they sell maize they sell the tea they sell water and every goods that they have they usually sail through the windows and also some of them get to come inside the bus then we were approaching kisumu and i was so happy because our journey was coming to an end and my parents were just there waiting for me. What a lovely parents I have. I really thank God for my parents and that is how I go to spend my day. Thank you all for watching. Love you.